Hi everyone, my name is Yur. I do extensive research to make the creative ideas in my mind become a reality. I enjoy learning, creating, and then sharing that knowledge with you. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so below. My passion is to teach you something new, show you tricks and tips, and at the very least, inspire your creativity. I have a vintage shop on Etsy called Retro Galore. I am planning on opening a digital print shop. Today what we're going to do is make mock photos for digital prints. So what is mock photos or a mock-up? It's staging. Uh, it's a way to demonstrate how your product will look in real life. It's a way to market and promote your product. In my example, it's digital download artwork. This is an example of a mock-up. It's a stock photo from the website Unsplash. Um, Unsplash is pretty neat. It, you could download and use photos for free um, for commercial or non-commercial purposes. While that's great, it's also accessible and free to everyone else. So you run the chances of some other shops having the same mock-ups as you. This is why you want to make your own mock-ups. And here are some reasons. One, branding. You can brand yourself. Um, the aesthetic is cohesive. Two, consistency. So it kind of goes along with branding. You produce a consistent photography in your shop. Three, it's unique. No one else will have these photos because you've created them. And then four, variety. You have as many backgrounds as you can create. To create the mock-up, start by selecting a variety of frames that suit your taste. The aspect ratio of the selected frame should correlate with the aspect ratio of your digital art print. For example, if your digital print has a width height ratio of 4 to 5, then the frame area should also be 4 to 5 for a perfect fit. Here are some frames I purchased from my local thrift store. They cost from 49 cents to $6. And then a framed art my daughter made when she was littler. Time to stage. I want a simple, clean, clear of clutters and distractions photo. The focal point should be the frame art. Using my iPhone, I take a picture. Bring the picture into Photoshop and position and crop to your liking. For a perfectly rectangular frame, I'm going to use the marquee tool. Choose fix ratio and set the ratio 4 to 5. Create a rectangle around your frame as close as you can to the size of the frame. Create another layer. Make your image invisible. You're going to fill this newly created rectangle with a color and lower the opacity. We will use this rectangle to help us reshape our frame to this perfect size. To find the sizing handles, press Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac. Right click mouse and use Distort and Warp to reshape your frame to match the blue rectangle. Now we have a perfect rectangular frame. I'm going to edit the photo further but won't go into detail here. I made a separate video on how to edit the photo and change the background. I'll link that below. Use the polygonal lasso tool to delete the picture from the frame.
As we've done earlier, we're going to use the marquee tool again to create a rectangle, the appropriate ratio to use as a guide for the frame tool. Using the frame tool, create a frame the exact size as the rectangle. The frame tool allows you to place your image into the custom shape. Once the frame is created, make sure in the layers section that the image is placed above the frame layer. The mockup is now created. Begin using it by dropping your image into the frame. Save the file and now it's ready to be used in your Etsy listing. And promote your art on various websites. If this was helpful, please like, share, and comment below. Have fun making mock-ups.